the search engine google is showing this animated doodle on april 22nd 2022 for marking the earth day 2022 this annual earth day doodle addresses one of the most pressing topics of our time climate change using real time lapse imagery from google earth time lapse and other sources the google doodle shows the impact of climate change across four different locales around our planet It includes glacier retreat at the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, Tanzania, Africa, glacier retreat in Greenland, coral bleaching on Lizard Island, Australia, and harsh forests destroyed by bog beetle infestation due to rising temperatures and severe drought. Climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural such as through variations in the solar cycle. But since the 1800s human activities have been the main driver of climate change primarily due to burning fossil fuels like coal oil and gas burning fossil fuels generate greenhouse gas emissions that act like a blanket trapped around the earth trapping the sun's heat and rising temperatures examples of greenhouse gas emissions that are causing climate change include carbon dioxide and methane These come from using gasoline for driving a car or coal for heating a building. Clearing land and forest can also release carbon dioxide. Landfills for garbage are a major source of methane emissions. Energy, industry, transport, buildings, agriculture and land use are among the main emitters. And emissions continue to rise. As a result, the earth is now about 1.1 degrees Celsius warmer than it was in the late 1800s. The last decade, that is from the year 2011 to 2020, was the warmest on record. Many people think climate change mainly means warmer temperatures, but temperature rise is only the beginning of the story because the earth is a system where everything is connected. Changes in one area can influence changes in all others. The consequences of climate change now include, among others, intense droughts, water scarcity, severe fires, rising sea levels, flooding, melting polar ice, catastrophic storms, and declining biodiversity. Climate change can affect our health, ability to grow food, housing, safety, and work. Some of us are already more vulnerable to climate impacts such as people living in small island nations and other developing countries. Conditions like sea level rise and salt water intrusion have advanced to the point where whole communities have had to relocate and protracted droughts are putting people at risk of famine. In the future the number of climate refugees is expected to rise. In a series of UN reports, thousands of scientists and government reviewers agreed that limiting global temperature rise to no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius would help us avoid the worst climate impacts and maintain a livable climate. Yet, based on current national climate plans, global warming is projected to reach around 3.2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. The emissions that cause climate change come from every part of the world and affect everyone. But some countries produce much more than others. The 100 least emitting countries generate 3% of total emissions. The 10 countries with the largest emissions contribute 68%. Everyone must take climate action, but people and countries creating more of the problem have a greater responsibility to act first. Earth's climate has changed throughout history. Just in the last 650,000 years, there have been seven cycles of glacial advance and retreat. With the abrupt end of the last ice age about 11,700 years ago, marking the beginning of the modern climate era and of human civilization. Most of these climate changes are attributed to very small variations in Earth's orbit that change the amount of solar energy our planet receives. Earth orbiting satellites and other technological advances have enabled scientists to see the big picture, collecting many different types of information about our planet and its climate on a global scale. This body of data collected over many years reveals the signals of a changing climate. The heat trapping nature of carbon dioxide and other gases was demonstrated in the mid 19th century. Their ability to affect the transfer of infrared energy through the atmosphere is the scientific basis of many instruments flown by NASA. 
There is no question that increased levels of greenhouse gases must cause air to warm in response. Ice cores drawn from Greenland, Antarctica and tropical mountain glaciers show that Earth's climate responds to changes in greenhouse gas levels. Ancient evidence can also be found in tree rings, ocean sediments, coral reefs and layers of sedimentary rocks. The planet's average surface temperature has risen about 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 1 degree Celsius since the late 19th century, a change driven largely by increased carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere and other human activities. Most of the warming occurred in the past 40 years. The ocean has absorbed much of this increased heat with the top 100 meters of ocean showing warming of more than 0.6 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, that is 0.33 degrees Celsius since 1969. Earth stores 90% of the extra energy in the ocean. The Greenland and the Antarctic uh, ice sheets have decreased in mass. Data from NASA's gravity recovery and climate experiment show Greenland lost an average of 279 billion tons of ice per year between 1993 and 2019, while Antarctica lost about 148 billion tons of ice per year. Glaciers are retreating almost everywhere around the world, including in the Alps, Himalayas, Andes, Rockies, Alaska, and Africa. Satellite observations reveal that the amount of spring snow cover in the Northern Hemisphere has decreased over the past five decades and the snow is melting earlier. Global sea level rose about 8 inches in the last century. The rate in the last two decades, however, is nearly double that of the last century and accelerating slightly every year. Both the extent and thickness of Arctic sea ice has declined rapidly over the last several decades. The number of record high temperature events in the United States has been increasing, while the number of record low temperature events has been decreasing since 1950. The U.S. has also witnessed increasing numbers of intense rainfall events. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the acidity of the surface ocean waters has increased by about 30%. This increase is the result of humans emitting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and hence more being absorbed into the ocean. The ocean has absorbed between 20% and 30% of total anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions in recent decades. Scientists attribute the global warming trend observed since the mid-20th century to the human expansion of the greenhouse effect, that is warming that results when the atmosphere traps heat radiating from air towards space. Certain gases in the atmosphere block heat from escaping. Gases that contribute to the greenhouse effect include water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide.